Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video and we're going to be talking about Battlegrounds, uh, the next season primarily, and this little blurb about the cheater situation. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. So Hell Summoners want to provide an update on our ongoing battle against the modern cheaters in Battlegrounds and AW seasons have come to an end. But the most impactful change we've made since our last update has been tweaks and updates to our automated systems. We have once again bolstered our parameters and approach for identifying and banning modders not just in Battlegrounds but everywhere in the contest. By making these adjustments to the system and continuing with multiple manual sweeps each week, our team has been identifying and banning at least 75% more cheaters over the last month. We feel that this was a change that was felt by many of our summoners, especially those competing for top spots in Battlegrounds. We've made a lot of progress over the last month, but the war on cheaters will be a long one. We have plans for more additions and adjustments in the near future that will continue to improve the game experience for honest summoners everywhere, including shortening the time required to release Battlegrounds rewards. Thank you for your continued patience, M60 team. So dude, like I gotta gotta give it to Kabam. I gotta give them a round of applause. For season four of Battlegrounds, I don't think I matched a single modder. I don't think I matched a single modder. I can't remember a single modder that I matched. Um, this definitely was a season that I probably played the least amount of total matches in, <clears throat> uh, personally, but still, not one cheater. That's never happened before. So I think they really did a good job. We've also seen, you know, Bureau Man get number one in the leaderboard. So, you know, if he's number one, then obviously Kabam is doing a really good job with all the cheaters, modders, all that BS to see like a legit player at the top spot you know it's it's good to see and it's they've we just got to give it to Bam on this one man they did a really great job I really hope this continues for every season of Battlegrounds going forward and I hope it only gets better because then we pretty much wouldn't really have much of a cheating problem if it only got better so yeah just wanted to start with this now let's go talk about season five Battlegrounds so new metas and more so new season means new metas. We've got some fresh, uh, we got a fresh new face for all you summers to share with each other, including emotes. Dude, I am so excited for this. You guys have no idea. So in the original Battlegrounds beta launch that was only available to content creators, I believe it was only available to content creators, we had on the CCP, and there was emotes. There was emotes at the initial launch. Uh, what, what do I mean by emotes? So it was like, a Captain America with like a thumbs up. There was like a, a mad Scarlet Witch face. There was like a, a sad Spider-Man face. And I can't remember what else, but I remember those three. And I, that was one of my favorite things. I was so, I was so confused when they got rid of them. I'm like, dude, bring the emotes back. I've been asking for them to bring emotes back and they're doing it, dude. Oh my God. That is one of my favorite things about Clash Royale is emotes. Because you can taunt your opponent and you can get in their head. You can play mind games. Dude, it's oh, it's like it's a whole other element. And I I, I cannot wait. I, I do think that there should probably be a toggle switch to turn them off. Because <laughs> uh, like you can really be a scumbag depending on what kind of emotes there are. Like in Clash Royale, there's like a thanks. There's like laughing emotes. So you can <laughs> what I used to do in like high school. Just thanks, 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 thanks. And just laugh at them, you know? Just try to make them mad, try to make them rage quit, try to get in their head, try to throw them off, you know? And, yeah, I just, I cannot wait for emotes to be in Battlegrounds. That's, I, I'm so happy about this, so happy about this. But, like I said, there should hopefully be a toggle switch to turn them off, because it could, could probably get frustrating, you know? If you're getting your butt kicked and you're getting taunted and just like, dude, I just want to punch this guy in the face. Like, that could definitely happen. But yeah, I'm so stoked for that, bro. I'm so stoked. It's going to be so much fun, especially on live streams. We can just be trolling. Oh my god. I'm going to stream snipe people and then troll them with emotes. Like, oh my god. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I cannot wait. Um, okay, so season five. The start date is February 8th. End date March 8th. I like that, you know? Full month. And it's starting on the 8th and on the 8th. Emotes. Starting season five players uh, that make their way to the Gladiator Circuit will get exclusive emotes. Oh, it's rewards? Dude, I... <laughs> that's sick that is sick yes okay i hope that they keep making more emotes too because like in clash royale i collect emotes like that's pretty much all i do in, in in that game units are basically called gems and you can get gems through like playing different characters leveling them up doing challenges with them and i basically just spend all my gems basically all my units in that game just on emotes more emotes i have so many of them i just yes i oh bro if there's an exclusive emote for number one, I might have to go super, super hard 
next season. If it's if emotes are on the line, bro, oh, you guys might see a whole new legacy in Battlegrounds. Okay. All right, let's let's talk about some of these metas. So, Victory Track, man. We we had the most restrictive Victory Track meta ever for this past season of Alliance War, or sorry, of Battlegrounds. So this one, man, it's it's a breather. We can take a breath. This one's not going to be nearly as restrictive. So we have the first node, Blood in the Water 2. So while the attacker is suffering from a debuff, the defender gains a passive fury, gaining 150% attack rating, lasting until all debuffs on the attacker expire. This is basically like a nothing node. Um, like when I see this node, like in Alliance War, I just completely disregard it. Because like if you're playing good, you know, it shouldn't matter. You might take a little bit more block damage, but like, not a big deal and then we have this note here long distance relationship so this is basically when you stand too close to the defender you're going to get weakness debuffs on you so when close to the defender the attacker gains weakness debuff every three seconds reducing their attack rating by 10 percent permanently staying far away from the defender causes these weakness effects to gradually fall off dude do you guys know what this means do you guys know what this means i <laughs> I'll show you guys what it means. I will show you guys what it means right now. That means Thanos is going to be a god. Is going to be a god in this next Battlegrounds meta. I am so excited. I've known about this these notes for a little while. And it made me so happy because my Thanos won't feel useless in the next meta. Thanos already has like 40% damage reduction attack reduction weakness basically on the opponent um from his sig ability here at sig 200 and then that paired up with with these nodes also paired with inequity which i have maxed out which is uh for each debuff it's another six percent weakness so for just one of these debuffs that's going to be 16 percent weakness plus i don't think it's like just plus 40 percent from the sig i think that scales differently but 16 percent weakness one debuff just one. Imagine two. Okay, that's 32% plus another f some type of 40% reduction from Thanos. Like, dude, I'm really, really excited to see how Thanos does on defense in uh, in this victory track meta. I'm really excited. And what really makes me excited is this is going to be the tournament meta uh, for for the next season. So, you know, and all the tournaments I'm in, we're going to be playing with this. So, I'm really, really looking forward to the next uh, season of Battlegrounds. It's, it sounds so refreshing compared to what we just had all right let's talk a little about the, the circuit though so you know the circuit uh for week one it has the same two nodes and then it has usually has one additional one i typically don't really try to get into the circuit week one just because like i when i get into the circuit i want to experience a new node so like i try to time it so i hit it like week two and then boom i got a new fresh node to play with or like the night before it changes to week two but so the additional node here is insult to injury. So each debuff on the attacker reduces their defensive ability accuracy by 30%. Interesting. Interesting. So that's just, you know, paired with the weakness of debuffs. Going to give you some lower ability accuracy as well. Okay, week two. Let's see what we got here. Second wind damage reduction two. Whenever the defender purifies or cleanses a debuff, they gain a damage reflection passive for six seconds, dealing back 25% of damage dealt by the attacker. Huh interesting and we have power creep each time the defender purifies or cleanses a debuff thing in a charge that permanently increases their combat power by three percent this goes up to maximum of 20 charges so maximum of 60 percent extra combat power rate huh and then we have ebb and flow <clears throat> knockdown the defender has protection reducing all incoming damage by 60 percent knocking down the defender removes the protection grants the attacker a fury passive which attack by 40 percent for 12 seconds when fury expires protection returns all debuffs on the defender are purified that sounds kind of horrible. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun. Uh, let's see, what do we have for week three here? Fight or flight. So every 12 seconds, the defender gains an unstoppable buff for four seconds. If the attacker is far away from the defender. When it triggers, the attacker gains the unstoppable instead. Okay, I like this node. What else do we have here? Muscle wizard. Whenever a mystic attacker knocks down the defender, the attacker has a 100% chance to gain an unstoppable buff. Okay, for six seconds, the attacker was already unstoppable. They gain an indefinite fury buff. Increasing attack rating by 50% maximum of four fury buffs can be granted this way. Oh, okay. So, Mystics are going to be good, and when you knock them down, you get an unstoppable? Sounds like a pro player node, which is weird. Okay. And then three, we got Persistent Pressure. Defenders on the effect of unstoppable become stun immune. This includes a unstoppable effect shirt outside the node. Every 15 seconds, the defender gains an unstoppable buff for five seconds. Okay, that's going to be annoying. The duration of this buff is reduced by 0.5 seconds for each prowess buff. 
or passive the attacker has. And there's a fourth one too, Force of Will, the defender's immune to ability action mod reduction, passives, and debuffs. Wow. Interesting. There's a, there's a lot. This is so much information for, for one meta. Interesting. Okay. But, you know, these, the week two and week three metas don't matter a ton. You know, it's, it's the, what, what I care about, what I base my rank ups on is the victory track meta. That's very important to me because again, it's what all the tournaments are based off of. And then the fourth week, because this is where I, I actually try to push, you know, towards the end where, you know, if I'm going to make a, a top three, you know, you know, leaderboard push, I got to be prepared for the final meta because that's what matters. That's what, where it sticks right at the end. So this one I've been trying to prepare for, but it's, it's hard. So we have rage one. So the defender takes the damage taken a single has capped at 1% of max health while damage cap is reached. Gain a fury buff upon reaching five of these fury buffs activated by rage attacks become unblockable, permanently unblockable. If they have five of those furies. And then Mystic Conditioning. So whenever the attacker attempts to remove a buff with a Nullify, Fate Seal, or Stagger, the chance of all future Nullify, Fate Seal, or Stagger effects is reduced by 20%. Sounds like Neutralize will be pretty good. Nothing countering that yet. Um, and then we have Polka Dot Power. The attacker gains no power from landing or receiving attacks. Instead, they are granted 12% of a bar of power per second while the defender is suffering from a damaging debuff. Rintra. Rintra comes to mind for this. Um... Yeah, this one's going to be rough, man. This is <clears throat> what I really could use your guys' help on, brainstorming in the comment section. Who's going to be good for this final meta? Who should I rank up for this final meta? Because I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this one. It's going to be tough, man. Rage. Uh, unfortunately, I for the longest time, I thought that Gallon worked for Rage. But I just got <laughs> some wires crossed in my brain. And it turns out it's Quicksilver that works. Uh, for Rage, and you know they came out same month, so I tested them so close I must have just mixed it up. Um, but yeah, Gallon can't counter this Rage, but I think Gallon will be a really, really good defender for this final meta because um, he's immune to Nullify, and he gains Furies off his special one. But I get yeah, I guess those Furies won't count towards this. Uh, but yeah, I I think Gallon's gonna be an absolute monster on defense for this final. Meta, especially in rank five gallon you know but uh yeah so that's the the post i'm i'm really looking forward to this victory track meta this sounds like just such a nice change of pace from uh from the the electric defense meta that felt like forever um and emotes guys emotes are coming to the contest for battlegrounds i could not be happier about that i cannot wait to see what emotes they are as well uh, if they're, they're probably going to be different or, if, or I, it'd be nice if, if like the original emotes that I saw in the first beta, if those are just given to everyone, you know, like the basic emotes and then, you know, based on where you, where you, where you are in the gladiator circuit, you know, you can, you can get more emotes. It says, yeah, we'll get exclusive emotes. So hopefully we all get like just some basic emotes that are all the same and then you know there there'll be more to obtain based on where you rank that's what i hope it it, it is but yeah man i'm really really excited let me know what you guys think um and yeah a lot more battleground streams for the next season that's a promise that's gonna do it for this video i would really appreciate some brainstorming in the comment section about the rage any tips you guys have let me know uh that's gonna do it for this video drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more content hit the bell if you want to be notified when i go live for those battleground streams that's gonna do it thanks so much for watching peace